Johnny Depp won, and he won big. This is a huge victory for him. The Virginia jury not only found Amber Heard's accusations of abuse to be false, oh, that's, a, that's really an important distinction, but that she made them with malice, their word, in an editorial in the Washington Post, which is what Johnny Depp was suing over. However, in Heard's countersuit of defamation, the jury did find that one of three statements in question made by Depp's prior uh, attorney about Heard also qualified as defamation. So the, and the damages, the damages seem like an afterthought, which they actually were to the jury, who had to be sent back after first reaching their verdict as they left that part blank. They came back again with Heard having to pay Depp 15 million, uh, 5 million for one count, 10 for another, and the judge brought that down to 10.35 million because on one of those uh, uh, situations there was a cap in the state law. So the 5 million had to be brought down to 350,000. Uh, and Depp has to pay Heard 2 million. But they're both pretty much broke, as they discussed during this uh, uh, case. So I don't really see any of that money getting paid to either of them. Maybe some of it. Maybe some of it over time. But you could maybe see, I would think, heard for sure would declare bankruptcy. Uh, it's not about money, though, as both of them, especially Depp, had their career on the line here. And there's much more money involved with that situation. That's where the real money is, getting, particularly getting Johnny Depp's career back online. Now, as I've said before, I feel that Depp and Heard were locked in an incredibly toxic relationship where they both share some responsibility. And no matter what the jury says here, or the judge back in the UK who found in favor of Heard, fans, the media, and the industry, everyone, will all have their own opinions, their own nuanced opinions on what went down between the two of these uh, individuals and who they find to be the guilty party. And those opinions aren't going to change. Well, they might change. They might lessen over time, but they're there. Depp has his legion of supporters and Amber Heard has hers, far less, but they're there. So let's talk bottom line here. In this video, I wanna talk bottom line about what this verdict means for their careers and how I think they would be best served moving forward. I think it was crucial that Depp win here though, because otherwise he would have two verdicts against him. But now it's a draw, uh, as the judge in the UK believed, believed Heard's abuse, uh, abuse accusations and said they were true. However, with this verdict, this new verdict coming in second, many will interpret it as correcting the UK verdict. Depp certainly does, as do his fans. Uh, because the jury, and again, this is crucial, they not only said that Amber Heard shouldn't have made those comments in the Washington Post, but they said that her accusations themselves were untrue, which is why what she said was malicious. Uh, remember, Warner Brothers used the UK judge saying that Depp was guilty of Amber Heard's accusations to release him from Fantastic Beasts. So, you know, whether or not Depp is guilty in the eyes of the court of the law, are a big one when companies are concerned and the general public. Now, I think this, this new verdict makes it possible, possible for Depp to work in Hollywood again. I know he's made some very strong statements about that. I don't know if he'll return to Disney. I feel Depp is on a course to heal and that means he could heal his relationship with Disney. I'm not sure, it might, it's, I think it might take a while for Disney to even want to do that. Maybe not too long, we'll see. Uh, as things can move very fast in Hollywood, as we'll discuss with my Warner Brothers video later today with uh, what's going on with management over there. But anyway, I think his, I do think his, as I've said before, I think his graphic text messages about Heard, which he admitted to, uh, are not great. And I think he also has admitted to serious substance abuse, which was going on while this was all happening, uh, which has really clouded the he said, this he said, she said situation. But I feel there is likely a producer out there and a studio, maybe one of the smaller ones like Lionsgate, that will take a chance on Depp if he can prove he's gotten himself clean resubstance abuse, which will make him insurable. He's already taken to social media already today, right after this verdict, and um, started his campaign to return to the mainstream. And the statement that he posted is incredibly well written. He has a very good PR team behind him now. His focus on returning to innocent until proven guilty, both in the courts and the media, he stresses, is an excellent talking point. That's a great, great thing for him to focus on instead of focusing on Amber Heard. I think this is a great way for him to pivot and still be relevant to the conversation, 
But, you know, let's not forget that Amber Heard talking about their relationship is what instigated all these court cases. So I think that this is very, very clever and well orchestrated on his part. Now, on that note, Depp has become a figurehead for Believe Men, which some will see as a counterbalance to Believe Women, and others will see as an attack on Believe Women, which further complicates the situation for Depp and major companies contemplating getting back into business with him. You don't want to seem insensitive to, to, to the women's side either. So this is tricky. So I think it will take time and work. But again, based on this expertly crafted social media post today from Depp and his team, I think he can do it. I see him writing a book. I honestly think that's the direction he's going to go in and doing a tour to promote said book. Book tours are huge. Publishing companies have a long track record of not having any problem getting involved with controversial figures and paying them big bucks to do so, to write a book. And des- Depp desperately needs an infusion of cash. So that's a great path for him. And the book tour. They'll pay for the whole book tour. Although if you do a big interview, the, the, the outlet will pay to fly you out if it's, a, it's an on-camera appearance. But the book tour would be huge. I mean, look at the crowds who showed up for his trial. A not just United States tour, but a global book tour? He would have huge crowds turning up for him. I would say he could even do interviews in a campaign sooner, but he doesn't want to look like he's taking a victory lap and gloating over a very serious case where Heard has now come out. I mean, Heard is where he was coming out of the UK case, and you know, I don't think he would have wanted her doing a victory lap either. Because and also again, some do identify with Heard, and he doesn't want to seem insensitive to that. Optics are the key word now. Optics have been the key word through all of this. This is these were of course defamation cases. I think he'll take a few months to hammer out a, well, a book deal will probably happen very fast. And then he'll ha- take a few months to hammer out the book, you know, with the ghostwriter, all that jazz. And then a book tour, by then a book tour will seem appropriate. There will be enough distance from the verdict. The book, well, I, I think would be a huge success, which is why I'm sure every publisher wants it. And the, again, as I said, the crowds would be huge for said book tour. I think, and I think those crowds will convince a mainstream producer and a studio of some, at some level to take a chance on him because they'll believe that he can sell tickets. I told you, money is what drives Hollywood. And if Depp looks like he can generate revenue, he will get hired. It could be a movie deal, but I could also see him going to a very, you know, a, pr- a premier streaming service to do a show or a movie for them. We'll see how it plays out. You know, it's a very diverse field these days in terms of options for where to work, and I think Depp will benefit from that, not only in terms of who will be willing to take a chance on him, but if a bidding war were to erupt. Uh, at, although you want to be, again, very, there needs to be some time here. You don't want to be coming off of this and look, look like it's too much happiness at Herd's expense. All right, now let's talk about her. She has never been a, a sympathetic figure in this whole situation, which speaks partially to her behavior, of course, but also to how women are treated in society. Uh, I think people have pointed out to even more egregious figures who were not raked over the coals the way that Hurd has been. Uh, but again, I think that she is culpable to a degree in this situation, to be fair. The whole situation has been very lopsided. Also, as you have a beloved movie star, beloved for decades, going up against not only someone far less successful and far less well-known, but someone who has never been beloved. This isn't like Zendaya versus Tom Holland. That would be a more even-handed situation. And I think the camps would be more divided. Uh, And because of that image issue, I think that Amber Heard, more, uh, more than this verdict, will have trouble getting work. It's not just the verdict. I think it's the image issue. She's always had trouble getting work with Depp testifying that he's the one who helped her get the role of Mira in the first Aquaman movie. As for Aquaman 2, I told you she only has 10 minutes. Her role's been whittled down to that, which was confirmed in court. And I can see the argument for cutting her from the film entirely. I even mused about it the other day. But seeing this, I don't think Warner Brothers will want any backlash from either side. So I feel they'll like, let's just keep her at 10 minutes in the movie. And all the fans who swore they boycott the film if she was in it, well, I think Warner Brothers will hope that you'll feel differently now that the verdict was in Depp's favor. Hopefully you'll feel this is passed and let her have the 10 minutes. I think the bigger question is, will Heard participate in the press tour and the red carpets? I would say yes, I would advise her to do so. But, big but here, she should focus on her work in the film and her future. Both she and Depp should stay away from this case. They should drop it. It's like picking at a scab. Move on. She might also write a book. 
Although I think it would not be anywhere nearly as successful as Depp's. But who cares? She needs the money. Someone will pay her to write a book as well. And she just had a child which she needs to support. And people should be, I think, somewhat sympathetic to that. Uh, even because that child didn't do anything, uh, even with Depp's potential book or any interviews that he does, again, he would be smart to back off of Heard. Don't talk about Heard. Focus on himself. Focus on what he's gone through emotionally. And be very careful with his language and how he plans slash hopes to move forward. And again, this innocent until proven guilty angle in both the courts and the media and on social media is a very good focus point, which will keep him from talking about Heard. His PR team is really doing a good job so far. What his tour should really be about is thanking the fans, both for supporting him through this whole ordeal and also for showing up for the tour. There'll probably be legions of them standing in front of him. And so I think getting footage of him, him interacting with them would be just fantastic, not only for repairing his image, but for making the studios and streaming services feel that maybe that he would be viable for them to work with again. Uh, so again, I, I, I think that even if you were to talk about men in domestic abuse situations, it could open up the same can of worms that Amber Heard's op-ed piece in the Washington Post did. So will Hollywood be calling Depp today? No, but I think they're watching. And I'm sure the publishers have already got, get, called him, mul multiple publishers have already called him. I'm sure he's fielding offers. And I'm sure he's fielding offers for interviews with the media. But he should be really careful about that. I don't, I think maybe he could do one. But I mean, he's not going to want to, I think that he's going to hurt the book tour if he does a lot of interviews right now, because the book tour will say, well, you already did all your interviews, so you're going to be less valuable to us. So I'll be curious to see how he handles it. But I do, after that, after that social media statement, I have tremendous faith in who's handling his PR for him right now. So what do you think of the Depp v. Heard verdict? What do you think it means for both their careers moving forward? And uh, you know, how, how do you feel about it? I know a lot of you are extremely emotionally invested in this, and now that you have you know, how do you feel towards, you know, the other party uh, now that you have this development? Has it, you know, has it changed or softened your opinion at all? Are you ready to move on? Um, I, I would, I would, I think we don't want to, I don't want to see either of them targeted to this degree going forward. I think moving on is the key word here. And how do you, on that note, how do you think they should handle themselves going forward? As, as well as I said, sharing how you're going to handle yourself. Share those thoughts down below, subscribe today, and of course, as always, you can check out some more videos right now.